Alright guys, what's going on? He's finally back. Isaiah Rashad with The Sun's Tirade. TDE signee. He hasn't made a project in the longest minute of his life. So we're just gonna jump in. I did not listen to any singles on purpose, so everything is fresh. If I fuck this up, I swear to god. Oh! Is this how you use these? So we are going to get started as soon as I- there is hair on my sushi. Rufus! So we have track one, where you at? And that's just the intro, so we're gonna go straight into track two for the squad. 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 Back and I still don't have your goddamn album. <laughs> Why, I don't understand this process, dog. Like, you, know, you got yo, know, everybody was bumping your last shit. You don't want to get your next shit out? You got to Friday. Damn. I'm not asking no more. Oh, it's gonna be some smooth ass shit. I can tell. Get that. Oh, I can play my feelings. I'm good. I'm coming over from the message. I'm Yes, I did go up to my cabinet to get this for that joke. Yo, this is some chill fucking shit, man. This is dope as hell. Track three, free lunch. Many of you have heard this. I haven't. Oh. Oh. Fuck this. This is going to be stuck in my fucking head. I can already tell. Meal ticket, ticket, meal ticket, ticket. Slash rose gold featuring sir the internet has raped the word sir because now i just think a fedora clad gentleman uh, we, every day. Uh -oh. all right yeah. when i'm so but i okay oh fuck yeah man the last sushi and that was the best tasting one This is mastered to perfection too, like, god damn. Oof. Oof, that bass line. Oof. Alright, this is rose gold. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you, beat! It's like Chance the Rapper's dad. The next track, What's Wrong, featuring Zakari and Kendrick Lamar. Ah! That just slapped me across the face with something. Wow! To Zachary? It might be Zachary, actually. I'm an idiot. Ah! Maybe if I can live, honey, yeah, that'd be real. Pay me if I'm gonna be rubbing these, I'm a deal. Woo! Jose, I'm the best rapper since 25. Been like that for a while now, I'm 29. Any nigga that disagree is a fucking lie. Might stay in the trunk tower for one week. Spray paint all the wall and smoke weed. Fuck them and fuck y'all and fuck me. Oh, Jesus! Kate, on you fucker! Now, when I go home, I don't know where my fam gon' stay. Don't we look like CP and Nirvana on that Give me down, give me down. I've been wanting to say. Somebody else. Track six, Park. This is another single that came out. I avoided it so I can experience it right now. Yo, the vibe of this project is. It cannot be touched. This project is cohesive as balls, but every is their own. Fuck, dude. TDE. Wait, hold on. I missed, I missed a bar. I'm trying to be Nicki Minaj, rich as a bitch. Yeah, dude. 
I did not doubt Isaiah, but this is like veteran tier, really true shit that has been inspiring so many people. He's reminding you what that sounds like. This is stuff that you would expect a great from like the 90s, early 2000s, making a comeback. And this is just his sophomore fucking shit. Track seven, B-Day featuring Deacon Blues and Carrie Fox. I probably fucked that pronunciation up, as I do always. I don't have any water, I'll be right back. Seriously, this is just so surprising. Next track is called Silk De Shaka featuring Sid the Kid. She is the lead singer of the internet, highly recommended album, Ego Death. And it's a duet? Oh, I am crying out of my penis. We got track nine, Titty and Dalla, beautiful, featuring Hugh, Augustine, and J Rock. More TD. I'm just one dirty motherfucker. I hurt myself way more than you. There's too much out here, but you know, I put the code in my suit. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta get rid of my kid and my nigga. That was the only thing holding me back. None of these niggas ain't talking. He's still in the party, tell me the truth. I hit you back like a nigga revising. Man, this fucking album! I know that bitches gon' be bitches, but I love them hoes. This gravy for my steak, bitch. For you fried my chicken, scrape that resin off that blade, bitch. Mm. No cut, no chase. I'ma do my place, so cut that fake shit. That's fake shit, bitch. Oh, sweet. That marks the halfway point. Track 10, Stuck in the Mud, featuring SZA. Another part of TDE. Stop. Stop. I didn't set one single expectation at all, and it's blowing my non set expectations. Track 11. A lot. Is that Mike Will? I just want your bitch. I don't know. Are you fucking? Turn this shit up. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, track 12, double A, like the battery. Yeah, I know. I'm 
not pausing. Track 13. Dressed like rappers. I got a face that only your bitch could love. <laughs> your type niggas don't mix with us. Ugh. Ain't this special like just because. Woo! I can't admit I've been depressed. I hit a wall. Ouch. Huh. Little boys dressed like rappers. Can they roll? Make them dead. Oh. <laughs> This might be the track, guys. This might be like my favorite track on the album. Wow. You was born in 1991, my nigga. That's weird, dog. The girls you meet, dog, they like born in like 1994, bro. That's crazy. Track 14, don't matter. Whoa! Shit, I'm too tired to groove to this fast ass shit. Next track, Brenda. I got two cigarettes to my last name. I got here for the check, but I don't wanna go. Wow. Wow. She said, you. For the energy. For the Tennessee, fam called work, all work with the busy me. I was just an instrumental. Now I'm Malcolm in the million. We talked about a billion. We talked about our feelings. Tax on your motherfucking nuts, my nigga. 1025. What the fuck can a nigga do with 1025? Plus your we have it, plus my we have it, and your we have it for free giving. That track just made me fucking speechless. I did not talk at all during that. That hit me. <laughs> that track fucking actually hit me. That was incredible. That, that, <laughs> fuck. Wow. Let's continue, track 16 by George. It's the outro. Seventeen. Find a topic. Homies begged. I just like a freak hole for the nostalgia. Yeah. Come on, I can't bring no more. Skin and bones. You are my favorite type. This project, uh, it it hit me, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I I cannot even try to be funny. I can't try to be hype or anything. I'm mellowed out because of this album's story behind it. How Isaiah was in such a, a state of depression. He was in writer's block. He couldn't do anything. He was almost going broke, he almost lost his record deal, all this shit. And then he makes this. He overcame it and made this shit, man. 
that's that's this is like the album that I needed this year because I'm going through not similar stuff you know uh, culture differences I don't have like a problem with drug use or anything um, but with my ambition with you know just myself being motivated not doing well in school lately and you know failing courses this is the project I fucking needed like this project is speaking to me on such a core level right now and I can't praise it enough I'm like fucking speechless about it I'm, I'm not gonna lie I'm getting really quiet because I, I honestly if I start speaking up I might get emotional and I don't I'm not an emotional type and this is making me like actually emotional this is incredible work to me it's so good front to back TDE the fact that you have the best artists under your belt every time your group posts something new it's evolving it's changing the way people listen to music genre defining music and Isaiah is no fucking exception Isaiah if you're watching this of TDE if you're watching this whoever the story behind this album and the fact that you put this kind of material out after having that much struggle is fucking inspirational. Congratulations, seriously. Fucking good job. I don't even have an outro. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Follow me on that shit down there. Isaiah. Seriously, good job. Fucking good job. Peace.